Welcome back to Coffee in Christ. I am Joshua. He is Ron. And as always, you are loved by God. Welcome to our new video. Ron, we've got something really cool to talk about. And you and I were talking earlier about how this really could be a multi-video lesson if we want to. We may to. have 10 lessons about this one. Yeah, we're going to talk and today. And it's very exciting. We're going to talk today about how Paul was able to work with other people. And really, when you look at Paul, that's a lot of what he did was working with other people, even uh, not just his missionary journeys, but how he was able to go to other churches and work with them and get them where they needed to be. The majority of the time when you read about him in the book of Acts and you read his writings, you find him working with other people. It seemed like he didn't just have one co-worker, he had a whole bunch of them, guys that he worked with, guys that he loved. They were laborers together in the kingdom. Absolutely, and we're going to look at two of those today in what little time that we have together. I was noticing from Acts chapter 16, this little phrase in verse 3, where Timothy is introduced and it says, Paul wanted Timothy to accompany him. And I just think that's so special that Paul, as an apostle, as someone who uh, had seen the Lord, you know, and had this great experience and this great story, saw someone like Timothy and said, I want him to accompany me. And that was the beginning of a great partnership Absolutely. between Paul and Timothy. And he writes two letters to Timothy. You find about his work with Timothy in other writings of his where, for example, in Philippians chapter 2, he talked in a great way about the relationship he had with Timothy. Outstanding example. And talking about the letter of Philippians, there's one other person in Philippians that you had to bring up uh, that worked alongside with Paul and Timothy in this great ordeal that was Paul being in prison. He's a man with a funny name, a guy named Epaphroditus. And when you read Colossians, he's known there as Epaphras. But listen to this statement about him. He says, I thought it necessary to send you Epaphroditus, my brother my fellow worker and fellow soldier who is also your messenger and minister in my work. A fellow soldier, a fellow laborer, his brother, that's how they viewed each other in that working relationship. And that's something so special, I think, in the Lord's church today that just as Paul looked at other Christians and saw them as people and people who he needed to help, but he, he didn't view himself as as better or worse than them. You know, he worked with them rather than looking down on them. And I think that's something that we all, whether we're in a, a leadership position in the church or whether we are uh, just a member or whatever, need to take special note of. Here's the key to that. Sometimes people can't work together. And there was a time when Paul and his beloved co-worker Barnabas had to go different directions. They didn't attack each other, and they both went on and had very productive works for the Lord. But in that same second chapter of the book of Philippians, Paul is talking about Timothy, and he says, I have no one else of kindred spirit who will genuinely be concerned for your welfare. They all seek their own interests, not those of Christ Jesus. There's the key. Whose interest was Paul seeking? He was seeking the interest of Jesus Christ. He could work with Timothy because Timothy was not seeking his own interest. He was seeking the interests of Jesus Christ. And that's what it's all about. And I think that's a great lesson for us to end on, that we need to be constantly looking at the interest of others and the interest of Christ and working together in that as we uh, labor together for the kingdom. So, Ron, I've appreciated sharing a cup of coffee with you Absolutely. this morning, and I'm glad to call you a fellow worker. Hey, and as workers together with Christ, we wish all of you a good day. Absolutely. God bless you.